Hi guys, it's Jack, and we're back again to do another review on a Martinic product. And today, this is the Alka Panther plug-in VST organ. So let's see what it can do. Go straight in. I can see beautiful graphics, just like the other products. We've got an effects unit here. Full range of keys, pedals, volume pedal, which is always interesting and full in-depth custom editing similar to the key bass but on a, a bigger scale and let's see what she can do I think the first thing when I think of an organ for me personally I think of apart from body parts I think of reggae so today hopefully we can make a somewhat reggae beat let's start with a bass line Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to record a bass line real quick and we'll work from the bass line. Get the rhythm down first. We'll change the sound of the rhythm till we get it just right. We may come back to it, alter it a little bit. And we'll see what we can do just from working from inside this plugin. I'll add my drums as usual and we'll see what we can do. I think we should add some drums, get a feel for the music. This music's all about the feel of it and get into that rhythm and make sure that you, it doesn't go off the drone it goes off the beat of the guitar and the beat of the organ and I was thinking I'll stick on this for a minute but I was thinking you can feel that already the rhythm of the reggae comes from it let's, let's stick some drums in it first and then we'll see so let's get our rhythm going. Beautiful sound. I've worked through a lot of VSTs and it's very difficult to find a good sounding organ. So this is a first for me and it's quite exciting. Let's record it. Right, we've got that rhythm going now, which sounds really nice. Let's see what we can do with the sound inside this VST. Right, I keep I keep looking at this this lamb here and this echo and we'll get to that thing. It's exciting. I love seeing these animated keys. This graphic is just like it's in front of me. It doesn't get any closer. So same as the key bass. This has the individual tuning for the notes, which is really good if you want that natural sound. Everything being digital now, well, most of it being digital, everything seems to sound the same. So, when it gives you this custom editing, it really helps improve your own style come out. So it's nice. Let's see what we can do. Pan works really nice. All left and right. If you haven't got headphones on already, you won't be able to tell this, but this is really, really nice to have built in pan effect. Strong treble. I think it'd work a little bit better on droned notes, but it's exciting. Built-in guitar amp, it's be interesting. Wow. I think we'll have some reverb to it. It's so nice to not have to have 30 effects going at once when it's, it's all in the back of this. This is VST, it's fantastic. When, you, when you're messing around with EQing, bass, middle, treble, you want to make sure that you always leave enough space on the field for other instruments to pop off. Because if you have an instrument going across the whole of the EQ field, then it doesn't leave the room for the vocals, the bass line, for example. So you, you really want this rhythm section to sit from the bass, the low ends, into the mids. And then when you come in with the leads, 
you leave the room at the top with the vocals and the cymbals. And this built-in EQ, it's clean, it does its job, it's fantastic. Let's leave that for now. You know I couldn't resist. Right. The bass line that first came to my head earlier, I've adapted a little bit to this rhythm, and it sounds pretty good. It's clean. You know, you have to remember that all these sounds, apart from the percussion, is coming from within this VST. And we've only just begun to dive in. bass remember anytime you mess around with EQ especially on the low ends kick drums bass anything like that because most of the sounds these days and audio and music is played through a little phone speaker unfortunately that when anything you anytime you mix in anything low end make sure that you add it to the top end as well where the space on the EQ field Make sure you add a little bit at the top, just so it pumps through that little bit more when you listen through a mono speaker on a phone. Unfortunately, you know, that's the times we live in at the minute, and it's, you know, it's easy, easier to listen to on a phone and access music, etc. But anytime you're doing anything low end, because you won't hear it for a phone speaker, uh, make sure that you do the same adjustments at the higher end, just just so you can hear it. For example, if you were moving the low end around a little bit, make sure that you, you bounce it out with the treble, the higher end, but not too much. Make sure it gives it room with the cymbals and the vocals and the lead. usually put echo on a bass line but I love that it's here now it's here oh okay let's try out this guitar amp on it drives nice I'm still gonna keep it low toned Space. Well, maybe a bit of effects on this built in guitar arm. Ooh, it's bassy. There's not much that I want to do with this low end because I feel like when you add too much to a simple bass line, it doesn't make it simple anymore. It doesn't stand out. So I'm going to leave that as it is. And now let's try some lead with it. This will be fun. I like that. Let's record that in. <laughs> it works. Let's try some effects. Let's try this. I've been, I've been staring at this for... We need it. This is really nice. You can I'm pretty sure you can get this separately from martinic.com. I'm pretty sure. Let me just check for one second. I'm pretty sure you can get this. I'm not gonna move it. Yeah. So you can get this separately. And it comes with a free trial as well, so definitely go and check that out because I think I'm going to. I'd like to see what this sounds like 
on vocals and guitar because it looks pretty solid to me. Delay feedback. <laughs> That's perfect. Let's put it with the rest of the track. This volume pedal here. It's genius. I love that. It has all these controls built in. You don't even have to keep jumping to your mixer all the time. You don't have to jump to your effects. It, what there is here, it's like, it's like it's been designed to say, look, we've got it all here for you. You know, it's what you want, what you can do with the sound. It doesn't, because the problem is, if, if you keep adding effects and you don't end up, you, you ruin the original sound. So they've given you the tools to improve the sound and make it your own. Let's mess around with the sound a little bit more. Oh wow. I'd definitely start this song off with this by itself solo. Let's try this harmonic control. So the harmonic is all different notes together that create one overall note. So when you remove harmonics from the note, you're still getting the same pitch, but you're getting less of a timbre of a sound. As you can see. So you might take away from it the lower the tone gets. So you're still getting the same pitch. You just get more sounds added to the original sound. <laughs> Sounds like a guitar now. <laughs> I love all these built-in effects. They're solid. They really are. With making a sound realistic, it, you make sure that you always have a tack on the instrument so that it sounds like you are being fed from the hand to the instrument rather than just you know? So it's always nice to have the attack and the options to use them as well, as well as the release of the note, which is always useful. I'm not going to mess with the tunings too much because, as I said on the key bass, it's really good for personally live pieces or if you were recording after a realistic instrument of a, for example, like guitar, something like that, it's nice to have the individual tuning to either, for example, some guitars. You know, they're that old that you can't tune them to E standard anymore. So you can only tune them to E flat, something like that. And maybe you know, only knows how to play the certain piece in the standard tuning. So it's nice to have, be able to drop it to the semitone or whatever. And you don't have to change your composition on what you're doing on the organ, which is nice. It doesn't happen very often, but it's nice to have the choice. And also, if you wanted to, you know, make the sound a little bit a bit more realistic, it gives you that option, which I've mentioned before, which which is what I would use it for. And, you know, if you can think of any other ideas to use it for, then go ahead. Brilliant. This comes with a free trial uh, on the internet, and uh, you can find it at martinit.com. It's very easy to download. You just, you just go down to the bottom, you press the download the trial, install it into your plugins. If anyone has any questions on how to do that, I'm happy to answer it because it takes two seconds. It's no problem at all. So let's see what we got from today. So that all these sounds, they don't sound, you know, on top of each other. It 
sound. You can hear every sound you've made today, and that's because of all these built-in EQs and effects, and tone levels, and everything like that. And because you've got such a wide spectrum of pitches to choose from, as well. The, I haven't even gone into these, but these. I'll show you right now. For example, if you wanted to use these, you go into your piano roll and you go and pop them in. Or if you have got the foot pedals to use these with, then happy days. It's just like the original, it's perfect. Now I could talk about this product all day, as you know, but I'd like to leave a few things for you to experiment with and you try out yourself. So we all come back with something different from this plugin. So we don't all come out with the same sound. You know, you, it comes in, it's preset, it sounds fantastic. Go in depth, have a mess around, see what you can come up with, tweet me about it, and uh, enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. And this is the Martinic Elka Panther Review. And you can find these guys on the website, like I mentioned before, martinic.com, on Twitter, and you can find myself there at One Take Jack. Now drop in, say hello, tell me what sounds you can make with it. Thank you very much for watching.